All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Haiku, Season, season four, 4, Episode 23. 23. Hinata oh my god. made the receipt. Oh my god, Hinata, you freaking legend. It's your oh time. Oh my god. So oh my son. <laughs> this this is where this is where it's just we, we're just gonna go hard here. Yep. We've got Inarizaki mm -hmm. and Karasuno coming up on the end of this match, the end of this set. This is Huge because whoever wins this is going on to face Nekoma. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it's got to be you, Karasuno. It but is going to be is not going to make this easy. Yep. So, y'all, I like. <sighs> I'm just hyped. We we're we're here. We've got all our boys together. Mm -hmm. Everyone's putting in their all. Yep. And you know, while while we nearly had like the team go into a funk, like a really bad low low place there. Not and not this shown. day. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not has shown. This is why he's the main character, y'all. That's right. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. Oh my uh, god. I just, I just love Haikyuu so much. So, 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 so this good. Just gave us, just gave yep. us everything. Mm -hmm. So, this episode mm -hmm. gave us a focus on an overwhelming number of the characters on all yes. sides. Mm -hmm. That was really good to see. Yep. But I like that Inarizaki kept it rather simple in that it was primarily Mia Atsumu and Kita for the most part. Right. Um, Kita gave, uh, I would say, probably some of the best stuff in the mm -hmm. episode by the initial bit of analyzing what's going on probably in Daichi's mind in right. that he is constantly surrounded by these wild child boys mm -hmm. running ahead of him and he has to kind of you know, back them up when he can and right. manage that whole side of things there. And it's it's tiring. Mm -hmm. It's tiring. Oh, so yeah. Daichi might have been able to back that up there, but that's just when he's got people that that excited and wild and fast on his team, it's it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to keep up sometimes. And then oh, that final God. conversation, or more rant as he put it, with the idea of talent being something that uh, can get mixed up with genius mm -hmm. a lot of the times because the talent side of things, yes, allows you to work on a scale of one to 20, whereas other people are working on a scale of one to 10. Now you still need to put in the work to be able to get past a 10, mm -hmm. but because you have certain advantages and stuff, you're able to put in 13s, 17s and stuff like that. Whereas right. people that don't have those natural advantages, they get capped out at 10 sometimes. That's mm -hmm. totally a thing. Yep. But the idea of geniuses, the little things that they're doing and how they utilize their talent, it's Miyatsumu getting really low for that set mm -hmm. after the receive from Aran was headed right towards the net, which means he basically hit a 90 degree angle with his set and then also course corrected it in a way that would actually be beneficial for the spiker. Oh, yeah. It's the yes. yeah. The and those little things only happen as a result of the insane. insane. Like like and and yes. insane can be used as just sort of like, oh haha, ha, you know, whatever. No, no, no. But a lot of people would probably look at them and say, No, 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 you are insane. Why do you love this thing so much? Yep. There's no there's no reason, there's no logical explanation for it. And yet they do. Yeah. They go so hard into it that you know that there has to be these thousands of hours spent mm -hmm. in the background that you, you're never going to hear about or maybe yep. even like you no know, actually existed mm -hmm. where they put in the time with this. There was another reference to that with the fact that Hinata must spend tons of time just with the ball, uh -huh. which they yeah. literally showed multiple times during this season, especially yep. in the first part of Hinata just kind of handling the ball, even mm -hmm. having him, I believe, bouncing it up from his feet after it would go out of his uh, out of his reach and stuff like that when he'd be lying oh, down. He'd yeah, be doing maybe. This, and then every once in a while would go too far and he'd poof, kick it back up and then go yeah, back yeah. doing it uh -huh. again. Nice yep. little capitulation of yeah. that, that foreshadowing. So, uh -huh. so good stuff there. But then Kageyama. Kageyama. What was this episode called? The Calm King or the Serene King? It was I, one of those. It was one of one those, of those two. two. But basically what we saw here was the full realization of what made Kageyama's initial uh, development in the beginning of season one, moving him away from being the king to where he put away his crown. Right. He took off his his robe mm -hmm. and ended up uh, basically going towards a li little bit more of a, a humility, humble side of things where he mm -hmm. was willing to learn and work with his team, grow with them, ask them questions, and be you know, able to be on the same page with them there. Okay, right. so here's the actual name of the episode. Let's get this here. Birth of the... 
is something here. Hold on. Birth, Birth of, of the, the Serene, Serene King. King. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we we, I, we even had Hinata mentioned up with the Kong Kageyama, you know? Uh-huh. So, yeah. Birth of the Serene King, we have Kageyama actually just speaking the truth yep. in these situations where he doesn't have to, you know, act in order to make it be <sighs> something that's encouraging. Mm-hmm. He basically just states matter the of exact factly. matter of fact truth with regards to the situation. Yep. He doesn't embellish. Mm hmm. He doesn't put on any extra emotion. In some ways, you can even see Tsukishima and the way he brought up the thing of it. It's, it's amazing how you don't seem to believe anything of what you're saying there. Uh-huh. That's because whenever he would see Kageyama probably say these things before, there was some air of it in that he was trying to like, I'm going to talk down to you. I'm going to kind of come down to your level from my sure. Mount Olympus of gods of volleyball mm-hmm. and stuff. But no, here, we, we need your... Need your spikes. We need yeah. your. We need, need your, your attacks. Attack. Yep. Attacks. Yep. Ta- and Naka. yeah, one of the things that I loved about this episode is that it wasn't just Kageyama being the Serene King. Like <sighs> at the beginning, yeah. when you know when we're seeing Tanaka and how he's handling things, and and Asahi, mm-hmm. you know, and Tanaka being all like, "No, I don't want to try any harder than I am right now. I'm in the zone right now. This is yeah. good. Just just keep this going. You know, yeah. the the edge of the cliff that was fantastic. I loved right. it. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, great visual storytelling." And then with Asahi of just the, okay, just keep it cool, do my do my serves, and they're but great. Then, but then, he he in some ways it was about all of them being willing to take the plunge. So right. The hunger thing applies to every single one of them in a small little way. Daichi in that his thing was that Kita thought that he was like you're not backing up your team like you should. You and I are alike oh, in that uh-huh. regard. But then we see that it's no, my duty isn't to protect them. My duty Mm -hmm. is to go in with them all the way, Uh even though I have to catch up and support them most of the time because, one, they need someone like me that can fill in the gaps, but two, I'm not as skilled as most of them. Sure. So I kind of need to fill that supporting role. But no, he goes in and attacks with them on the synchronized attacks and pulls one through, Mm -hmm. and Kita gives him that look of, yeah, you got it. And then Asahi was thinking... Oh, maybe I should tone it back 80%. Maybe, maybe, like, like you could tell he was thinking, like, should I give 100%? I've been 50 50 on those. They just go out sometimes. A uh-huh. point here could he's, be the end of the game. That could yeah. be the difference between win or losing. And, and he's like, no, uh-huh. no, I'm just going to give 100%. Right. Let's go. And, 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 and I oh. love, I love how there's so much writing on like each shot here because mm-hmm. it's, because it's, <laughs> it's not just, you know, oh, a point. Right. It's not right. just the set. Right. It's not even just, the game. Yeah. It's the when when Kageyama sets Tanaka up like that, right? And he does that that perfect straight mm-hmm. shot down along the side. Mm-hmm. If it had just been a little bit more to the side, yep. that would have been it. Mm-hmm. All right. Bye Asahi. Bye Daichi. Bye Suga. Yep. You know? Yep. All right. <gasps> that's that's it. God. We don't get to face Nekama. You know, none of this stuff. Your Who high knows school if we'll, career is over. Your high school career is over. Who yep. knows if we'll ever get go this far again, you know? Oh, like, they won't. Not with yeah, Karasuna. Yeah, they they won't. It yeah. doesn't matter what Karasuna mm-hmm. will do. They won't be a part of it. Right. Part of it. Right. Like that was all writing on that one shot. Yep. And that wasn't just a single instance of when that happened, right? Yeah. That's that's just constantly happening throughout yeah. the episode. That's just uh so good. <laughs> uh, and while we are very, very certain, and we have been certain for many episodes now that Karasuna is going to win, it doesn't stop the tension of when Mm -hmm. they really make us think for a second like whoa whoa, whoa, wait a minute there's a lot of good character development they're doing here with karasuno this could be the point of this match no 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 no. we gotta win we gotta win we gotta win the the, when anarazaki because this i think that happened a couple times where they had a three-point lead and it's like no just stop Stop. please stop yeah you you can't you can't do this to my heart like (sighs) yeah (sighs) so let's go around and keep going with the ones that were hungry here so tanaka Mm -hmm. his thing from a few episodes ago yep kageyama I know I'm going to be swallowing a bit of my pride by saying this, but I don't want you to say as much to me. Kageyama. No. No. We need your attacks. Yep. And that that, that whole thing just mm-hmm. in something where Tanaka's like, he's like, yep. like he's actually mm-hmm. serious. Like, yeah. like that's, that's so huge. And that gives him the push to be able to jump from the cliff over to the other side mm-hmm. and be like, yeah, I can fly. Yeah. Yeah. Him, him actually oh. jumping from that cliff. It's like, it's oh awesome. My God. And then, and then afterwards when Kageyama's oh. like, thank you. Like, yeah. you know, way to go. Like I trusted you. And and you 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 and did you fantastically. Yep. Yeah. I also really love something that's kind of a 
a thing that's really, really good to just remember with regards to Kageyama. He's so skilled that he actually doesn't put as much of an arc as a lot of the other setters do on his sets, mm. especially, especially for all the quicks. Now, obviously, that makes sense with the quick. He needs right. to get there quickly. But this is probably the equivalent of a Sugawara setting for Asahi type set where he gives him all the time in the yeah, world. Yeah, big arc. Yeah. Big, massive arc. It's going to be extremely high right. up there for a long so, period of time so that Tanaka mm -hmm. gets all the... Just calm, like, yes. preparation. Right. Yeah. Now, Kageyama is using his raw talent to put it at the edge uh -huh. so that if he wants to go for that, he can. Yep. But if Tanaka wants to because it's so high... He could adjust on his approach. Mm -hmm. But, guys, yeah. that moment with Tanaka was straight up a play-by-play -play that we saw with Bokuto in a previous match where Bokuto basically, like, threads the needle right on the line, right there, in a way that basically was called out by the blocker that was ruining Tanaka recently, where he's like, no, I'm starting to actually see him now. And he said... You're just a discount Bokuto, basically. Like, like, it, like we check we, again. Yeah, check again. Like, yeah. he's he's like the, mm -hmm. the compadre, the the yep. The, yep. the comrade yep. of Bokuto, like someone mm -hmm. who learned and and watched and observed and grew. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. He may be smaller. Sure. He may not have the rippling manly muscles of Bokuto he or might... the hey 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 squawkiness. Right. But this is our boy Tanaka. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, even if, you know, he's depending on it being Kageyama that's setting him up True. for this. True. You know, he might not be able to do this with just any setter. True. And, yeah, he might not be able to do this as consistently as maybe Bokuto could. No, Bokuto's though, a god. Even though Bokuto isn't actually that consistent, if you think about it. I mean, he still yeah. is a fourth best, uh, or or in the top five, the top five of yeah. aces in which Japan. Is, which is ridiculous. You know, that's the Ushijimas yeah. and uh, the, the Arans. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah. But um but he did it. But he did it. But he did it. And now <gasps> and now here we are and oh. and what's what is um what's tearing me up inside about this mm -hmm. is that Karasuno is going to win, yes. right? Right? 100%. Definitely. I I have I have they <laughs> they could they could win on this next point, you know? Yeah. But we haven't seen that yet. We haven't seen that. But we haven't that's seen that true. yet. That's true. And, and they didn't start the point, so mm -hmm. it's not like you can kind of tell like how the point's going to go no, based on they, how the episode leaves off. No, 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 no. I think it's going to be a long set. Jake. I, think, I think I think it's going to be go, a long set. They're going to go and, for a while. Yeah. And we've already made up a bunch of ground mm -hmm. to even get here because the fact that we're in this situation yep. that's borderline like miraculous, like the fact that that Karasuna was able to come together and pull this off, that is ridiculous. Yep. It is that is amazing. ridiculous. Yeah. So now it's at that point where it's like, okay, yeah, nothing bad should happen. This is where they win, right? Right? So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the twins are on fire. Mm -hmm. They're going at They're going at it. Yep. But we saw multiple times where one on, well, one on each side, there was a missed, um, a missed set. Mm -hmm. And I like that the, uh, even the gods of volleyball can show their, uh, their, their mortality, mistakes, their, their, their mistakes there. Even though, you know, it takes two to tango with the spikers yep. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. We had, um, you know, a moment on the outside here of the players on Inarizaki's side being like, oh my god, I, I cannot believe that I get to play on a team with these guys. But also, it sucks having to be the number two for a setter mm -hmm. like Miyatsumu. And it's like, oh, oh buddy, like... Mm -hmm. I get what you mean there, but uh, that whole thing of I wish I had talent, and mm -hmm. then Kita bringing up this thing of I remember what I was asked. So you're not a starter, so isn't it hard to have such a genius player who's younger than you on the same team? Which is such a boring ass question. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go a little bit hard into this okay. here because I think Kita is like, like I'm warming up to Kita to being like in my like top ten high Q characters. Yeah, like he, he, of all mm -hmm. of them, like not just in like. These this match here, but like yep. of all of them. Yep. Yep. So what Kita goes my into favorite here on this team is basically sure. saying that yes, I'm not what qualifies as a quote unquote genius, mm -hmm. but it would be 
basically kind of a bit of selling short what these guys do uh -huh. to call it in some ways just genius. Right. And he goes he goes in on this a bit. He basically said, I you know, I understand what they're trying to say. It's like, yeah, that Atsumi was just born a talented player, but it's not so simple. Mm -hmm. It's not so simple. And he goes into the whole thing of the one to ten or the one to twenty or the A to Z yeah. and stuff. But this is something that uh this is something that uh, I feel like a lot of sports stuff can really get at in the themes. Mm -hmm. But they blended Kita's little rant here with the idea of the hunger. In that oh, there are uh -huh. these players that are all out here that are basically just throwing their bodies and everything entirely into this. And, like, they are still going. Yep. Like, they're still mm -hmm. going. The mm -hmm. level of exhaustion that's going through all of them. Like, just look at Tsukishima. And we had the... You had the Warishima. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is just amazing. And yet, the actual talent mm -hmm. needs to be held in tandem with the fact that what he says here, I think being yep. able to dive in head first into things is a talent in and of itself. Yep, like, it is. It that is. kind of mental determination, if you will, mm -hmm. is something that a lot of people aren't going to acknowledge. But right. when you see that in addition mm -hmm. to the actual yep. genius, quote yep. unquote, that's when you're seeing something special. That's why he looks at them, you know, Hinata, the twins, mm -hmm. even Kageyama. And there was that little, little pause on Kageyama where he was like, oh, I even maybe sent some kindred stuff with you. But yeah, also you that they're putting in everything into it as well. So oftentimes yeah. when you have people that are talented and stuff, it's the work that's all in the background because they make this look easy, right? Yep. But then you look at this match and you realize, well, actually we're getting an even better treat because we get to see two sets of at least geniuses and that they're going all uh -huh. the way out at this for it. And it's actually pushing each side of the teams to be stronger and as teammates, it's pushing them to be stronger as well. So yep. like... I, 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 it'd be selling it short to just call it genius. It's right. something. It's something so much more. It's something special. And and that's that's something that I. That whole thing of the diving in head first is a talent in and of itself. Because mm -hmm. okay, the whole idea that it's not just talent; it's also hard work. That's something that's been brought up in plenty of things, right? And oh, yeah. even in high Q, they've brought it up at least once or twice, I think. You know, over the course of the show, mm -hmm. but the the talent of diving in head first. A lot of times people don't talk about that kind of stuff because, mm -hmm. you know, saying, ah, yes, there's all the hard work, but then, you know, so that's that's the big deal. But then people right. will be like, well, but I don't want to put hard work into things because you really need the hard work and the talent, the combination of both of those things right. in order to be as good as this. Yeah. So they don't end up they don't end up finding getting, their limits. Actually. They don't end up finding their limits. They yep. don't end up getting the practice with diving in head first, right? right. And so, so bringing that up here, it's like, no, no, no. Yeah, even if it's something where you don't necessarily have the inborn talent to go with all the hard work that you could put into something, right. you don't know. Mm -hmm. And and if you and if you do it and it turns out that you didn't have that natural extra pizzazz that'll, you know, take you the distance, right. that's fine. That's just preparation for when you find the thing that, where you do have that extra exactly. pizzazz, right? Because yep. everyone has it for, you know, something somewhere, whether it's, you know, fostered or not. Right. But it's the question of finding it. And yeah. when you find it, will you be prepared to do what you to need to do with it? To take the leap. Yeah. Like Tanaka here. Mm -hmm. There yep. was an example of this really well just, just, just put on display for us. And that Kageyama thinks to himself, oh, but is that really Tanaka's best attack? Is there some way that I could pull out of him something even greater? And he realizes, no, that's not my job. No. Yep. I'm going to give him the best set that I can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set it up so that he can do whatever he wants with it in the best possible way. But I am also going to make it really enticing by putting it right on that edge bit there, where if you want to uh -huh. go at this here yep. and do something that is a, a bloody miracle for, for someone like you to be able to do, because that is, a, that is an amazing insane shot. spike mm -hmm. to be able to do that. That's something where he basically told Tanaka, I want you to succeed. But whatever your limits are, I'm not going to push you past them. I am, however, going to put it 
really, really nicely to where if you want to try and fly, right, you can use this ball. Go for I will, it. I will yep. give uh -huh. you the opportunity uh -huh. to do it. Oh, yeah. But you don't have to take it. Right. But because mm -hmm. Tanaka did take it, mm -hmm. I think... The Karasuno is going to win this thing. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've they've already won. Yeah. Like in their in their hearts and on uh -huh. their journeys and everything. Yeah. Now it, they just need the result. Right. That is victory. Yep. You know. So Oh, oh boy, I oh love this show. God. I love this show, and yep. yet the fact that they haven't won yet is eating me up inside. Because I I knew I know, they were going to win this episode, right? I actually thought they were. Because I, I well because I figured I had, there's, there's two had episodes left in the season. Oh yeah. Uh, I I just had a thought that in general that it would be a little bit more impactful to reserve like you know an entire episode just to have them. Just you know, interacting yeah. with Nekoma, the rest of Karasuno, and stuff like that. But hey, hey, if we're gonna save like you know a few points or something, mm -hmm. maybe three, maybe maybe four or five. It does have to be an even number, right? No, it doesn't have to be. No, no. If they were to maintain this lead, though, it would oh, be an even number. Correct. So yeah. it'll be. So in fact, we if Karasuno wins, we know it'll be an odd number of points left. Oh, gotcha. Because it'll be the this one or. Some even number on top of that. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool. Ugh. But oh my God. Like, I love this show. I, I, I love this show. I'm so hyped mm -hmm. for this to yep. capitulate here. Yep. yep. Because if they're basically saying, hey, you know how season three uh -huh. was, uh, you know, Shir Torizawa? Yeah. You know, that was great and all and stuff like that. And then here we get season four, which is kind of a season two kind of. Sure. Kind of thing there. Mm -hmm. You get that training stuff in the beginning there. And yep. you go into the next tournament. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Then we could basically get the Shira Torizawa equivalent next. Yeah. But it's with Nekoma. And oh my god. The idea that Kageyama, Hinata, Tsukishima, mm -hmm. the rest of the team, they've all grown so much. They've all mm -hmm. done so much to get here. Yep. yep. And that Nekoma yep. hasn't necessarily just been sitting on their laurels. We've oh, actually definitely been not. seeing how they've had to struggle and evolve and grow as mm -hmm. well. But I want those two teams to go head to head. To for the a top. Full, full match. Like, to I, the top. I cannot wait. Um, Little little highlight moments as I mm -hmm. love Sakishima's little thing of is this what Hinata does? Yeah. Every time. Yep, yep. That was great. Like yeah. that is such a cool moment to hear Sakishima's inner thoughts. Actually on. appreciating Hinata. Like, like wait, like what? Being <laughs> impressed. Uh-huh. And being right. like frustrated yep. that this is the kind of effort the really hungry people put in. Yeah. And one yeah. of the things that I that I also loved about how that was handled mm -hmm. is that it was Something where Tsukishima was um, failing on the amount of energy that, that he was able to supply. Right. Not because he didn't want to put in the energy, mm -hmm. but because he didn't have that much left. Right. Right. He has. He had basically thought he had found his limit. Right. And and I love that because mm -hmm. how often does someone like Tsukishima actually push themselves to the point where their limit is even in sight? Yep. Right. Yep. Exactly. So, like that that bit there felt like just a a a reminder of the growth that our boy has gone on. So true. So yeah, yeah. And him having a little exchange with Rintaro of like he's like, I think you're at the end of your stamina. Like you have no much stamina left. And he's like, probably, probably right. right. Yeah. And Rintaro's like, like like kind of oh, uh -huh. he's admitting it. Wait, hold and, on. And that yeah. was the thing. That's that's all of Karasuno right now. Yep. They they yeah. Zen mode. Yeah. They, their their stamina is at their limits right now. Mm -hmm. But that's such an exciting feeling, especially like taking it from like Tanaka's instance there, mm -hmm. where he's feeling like he's on a roll, right? But you can definitely see that he's strained. This is yep. a very tough, long match. Mm -hmm. But he kind of says like, oh, like if I can just kind of swallow my pride and mm -hmm. give this over to the rest of the team, I'll be fine because I'm starting to hit my limit in the technical sense right? because that was more of what it was rather yeah. than a physical thing. It was that I'm being outclassed by all these other blockers and stuff. And then Kageyama is basically like, is that really your limit? Yeah. Is that is You, that you really think your you're functioning at peak capacity, but... Are you? What if it was... What if What yeah. if it actually was a little bit Right, more because than that's, that's the evolution of Kageyama is that he would mm -hmm. before basically be like, I demand excellence of you. Yeah. Now he's like, is that really your limit? Yeah. Tsukishima, I'm going to set it really high up there. Are you, 
Yeah. Could, could I get a little bit more out of you? Can I get a little bit more there? What, what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. If yeah. you don't want to, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. But. 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 You know. God, the Serene King. Yeah. And then. I love it. Uh, a little, a little like, silly little moment that was just like, oh, that was fun. Oiko is listening to the match on his yes. phone. Yes. Oh, that was so and good. He's, he's jogging. You know, he's just staying limber and, you know, mm -hmm. get, getting good, some good, good exercise in. But then he hears the exact play with the Tanaka thing that was basically a mm -hmm. moment where Kageyama yep. went beyond him. Mm -hmm. and right. While and I would say that it's always been a thing about where Kageyama would eventually surpass Oikawa, I think the difference is that... Um, this is the moment. This is the moment where he will begin to go past him. It's not that like Oikawa is a worse player than him by any no, stretch of the means or anything like that, but it's the, it's the realization that he and Kageyama are both yeah. now great kings. Right. Kageyama just in their had own a unique way. Right. Kageyama just had a break point. Yeah. So now so now it's the Oh, okay. Cause I think he he was he was on a jog, but he was like, you know, like sitting down watching it or something like that. I, I and, or, yeah, he had headphones. Right, in, right, so. right. But but yeah. then but then after that he's like, Okay, he actually stops watching the match. And well, he and you know starts running he was again. He's angry, right? Right. He's yeah, like exactly. He's like, ah! like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like I want to see what the actual line that he says is because I believe it was something along the lines of like him being frustrated that he's basically having to deal. Uh, Karzuna High School's Tanaka Ryunosuke, uh, Ryunosuke uh, just sliced through Inari Izaki's defense with that shot. So, He's yeah, like, I think he <laughs> was watching it because he was looking at his phone. Right, right. And yeah. it was on the sideways um, mm -hmm. thing there. So he was, yeah, he was definitely watching it. And then, and then he then just he gets... takes out the headphone, stops watching it, and goes running, but then covers his face as yep. he goes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought he was like fixing his hair or something because it's like, oh, there's you know, there's people there, and oh, that lady's kind of hot, even though she's you know has a kid. Right. Um, but no, it's the I'm I'm emotionally you know inspired, perturbed, whatever you want to call it, because of what I just witnessed. I can't let anyone see me like this because because you know, damn it, I have an image to uphold. Yeah, it's something where I I think it's just he's embarrassed about the emotion that he was putting mm -hmm. on display there. Yep. But it's also something where. All throughout this episode, you have the players that are basically wowed by the hunger and the mm -hmm. tenacity and the drive and the just the desire that these players have. Yep. And now he's reinvigorated by that, mm -hmm. seeing it from his, you know, his Kohei. You know, he's just like, oh, all right, fine. Let's get I'm, running. I'm going to go. I'm going to go 110% here. Yep. This is no longer a light jog. I'm jogging against Kageyama. He's, right, right, he's, right. No, exactly. Right. He's no longer the rivalry. Riding. He's ahead of me. Yep, and I and need I'm, to catch up. I need to catch up. No yeah. slacking off just because the, uh, you know, I can't go to nationals or anything like that. So uh, right. let's go. And I love that reminder that there are characters out there mm. that have relationship dynamics with characters that are on the court, but yep. they're not going to interact on the court for like at least a very long time mm -hmm. you know like that's probably like for Kageyama and Oikawa's case it's probably like almost never gonna happen again right. in terms of that well Oikawa's going on to college mm -hmm. you know and Kageyama's still in his first year of high school yep that'll be a that'll be a while but it'll be a thing of where he can you know he can look back oh that's the other thing this episode did that was so cool forget the memories they even brought that mm -hmm. back into the theme. Basically, yeah. the thing of where the yeah. journey and stuff is something that, no, 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 we focus on what's ahead of us. And Keita's like, I don't really like that. There's a, like, yeah, there's a difference between, like, focus, being focused and, like, being Being rash. reckless. Rash, rash. rash that's yeah, yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I know focus. Like, I am Kita Shinsuke. I know focus. Yep. But... You have to do. You have to acknowledge the past. You have mm -hmm. to. You have to grow from it. You have to learn from it. And you have to look back at it every once in a while, mm -hmm. because when you see how far you've come and you realize that this hunger is one of the main things that's taken you this far, yep. it just stirs it back up in you. And sometimes you do have to look back at old rivals. That's true. And be like, Yeah, they're still going. Mm -hmm. Damn it! So why? I why, guess I will. Why too. aren't they? Right. Why aren't they just like mm -hmm. taking it easy? Ah, oh, no! Yep. I have to take yep. it yep. harder. I love, ah. it. I love it. So, y'all, it's great stuff. Wonderful episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next episode. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Y'all, 
Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to check out a full length timer version of this reaction and discussion, right. go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. Any level support there gets you access to our Discord where you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about Haikyuu, anime in general, stuff like that. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. Yes, we stream Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Mondays are podcasts, Tuesdays are One Piece dramatic manga readings. Yes. Wednesdays and Fridays, Caleb does gaming. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077 very soon. Yes, and then on Thursdays, I do gaming, Persona 4 Golden. Yes, yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.